Um, hi, everyone. This is Chu Ling from University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Today, I'm going to present our work, Improving Privacy Preserving Vertical Federated Learning by Efficient Communication with ADMM. This is a joint work with my collaborator, Ping Yuchen, Qing Bingli, Arash Nguyen, Ce Zhang, and Bo Li. Um, in, in federated learning, the, we are going to train a shared global uh, model with distributed client, the client will keep their local data uh, in, in the local to protect the privacy. In the vertical federated learning, typically the feature uh, the uh, of the samples are partitioned across the clients. Uh, so they hold the distributed features for the same set of samples, while the labels are owned by the server. Um, to solve this vertical federated learning problem, people usually use SGD-based method. In the forward path, the client will first do a local processing, that is to use a local model to map the local features into the local outputs and send the outputs to the server. The server will then aggregate over all those outputs to compute a final prediction for each sample. They then we'll use a label for corresponding sample to calculate the loss. In the backward path, since clients don't have the labels, they will rely on the server to send the gradient to them to update the local models. It will involve two steps. The server will compute the first part of the gradient, which is the gradient with regard to the local outputs from each client. Then they will send this gradient to the client. The client will calculate the second part of the gradient, which is the gradient of the local outputs with regard to their local model. They will update the local model by combining these two parts of gradient using the chain rule. Depending on the server, whether the server have the model or not, VFL have two popular setup. One is with model splitting, and another is without model splitting. In the with model splitting setting, the client will have the local feature extractor, and the server have a rest of the model, such as several MLP layers. In the without model splitting setting, the client will have the whole local model and the server will not have any trainable model parameters. Um, with model splitting, the client will send a batch of embeddings extracted by the local feature extractor to the server. Then the server will calculate the gradient with regard to the local embedding and send it to the clients. In the without model splitting setting, client will send a batch, a batch of local logics and the server will send a gradient with regard to the local logics. We will focus on the model splitting setting in this talk. The challenge for this existing SGD-based VFL master is that the communication is very high because the server needs to communica communicate the gradients for each training step of the local model, which incurs a high communication frequency and a high communication cost. The second challenge is privacy. When the communication runs between the server and the client increase, client's privacy costs will increase because it constantly sends the sensitive local embeddings to the server. To address this problem, we propose a VFL framework with multiple head as a server's model, which enable us to use ADMM-based method to solve it, which allows multiple local updates at each round and reduce the overall communication cost. Theoretically, we prove the convergence guarantee of VIN ADMM. Um, we also introduce a simple client DP mechanism and provide client level DP guarantee. Empirically, we demonstrated the effectiveness of our algorithm under non DP, client level DP, and label DP settings. The key idea of our method is uh, a, server label, a server model with multiple heads. This special model architecture with multiple head correspond to multiple local clients. It can take the client's separate contribution into account by reweight their local outputs with this multiple head. It facilitates a breakdown of the VFL optimization problem into several simple problems can be solved by client and the server jointly with ADMM. The nice part of it is that it does not require us to communicate the gradient and it enables multiple local updates for client at each communication round. Specifically, um, we use the training loss on N training samples to update the local model and the server's head. A traditional loss is between the server's output and the ground truth label Y. 
Here, fx theta is a local embedding for the client k. xjk is the local feature of sample j for client k. And the theta k is a local model for client k. wk is a corresponding linear head held by the server. The server's output is aggregation over m local embeddings with its corresponding m linear heads. This formulation we use a linear head for simplicity, but it can also be extended to nonlinear head if we use the model parameter wk as a as a parameters for nonlinear function. Um, instead of using the traditional loss, we introduce an equivalent constraint optimization problem for ADMM. That is, we will introduce an auxiliary variable zj, and then we minimize the loss between the auxiliary, auxiliary variable and the ground truth label y. Um, then we have a constraint to minimize the difference between the server's output and the uh, auxiliary variable. So we enforce a consensus between the server's output and this auxiliary variable. In order to solve this constraint optimization problem, we use an augmented Lagrangian method. That is, we use, we use the dual variables as Lagrangian for this linear constraint. Then we introduce another constant penalty factor to penalize the quadratic term between the server's output and this auxiliary variable, zj. With this augmented Lagrangian, uh, this is our ADMM loss. To solve this loss, we will alternatively update these four set of parameters, including the auxiliary variable, dual variable, the service model, and the client model. The first three set of parameters are solved by the server, and the local model is solved by the uh, client. So this decomposes problems into four set of separate problems over these four set of variables. And we alternatively update them between the server and the client. Each subproblem can be solved in parallel across M clients or N training samples. In order to solve this four set of parameters, the client and the server need some communication. The client will send a batch of local embedding to the server, and the server will send a batch of ADMM related variables and one corresponding linear head to the client so that the client can use those variables to update their local model with regard to the local objective with multiple local SGD steps. Compared to the SGD-based VFL method, this ADMM-based method can reduce the communication frequency by allowing multiple local updating steps at each round. Moreover, it reduces the dimensionality of the information by exchanging ADMM-related variables and one linear head. This is um, smaller dimension than the gradient. In order to achieve differential privacy, we focus on the client level epsilon delta dp. In definition, the x and x prime are adjacent data sets if they differ by all samples associated with a single client. To achieve client level dp, we introduce a very straightforward mechanism that is to clip and perturb the local embedding matrix. And during the communication, the client will send a batch of perturbed local embeddings to satisfy DP. Here we clip the whole local embedding matrix with regard to a threshold and then add the corresponding noise. We provide a client level DP guarantees given M clients T communication rounds, clipping threshold C and the noise level sigma. Next, we look at some experiment results. Here we evaluate our algorithm in four data sets, MNIST, CIFAR, NUS, WIDE, and the ModelNet 40 in VFL setting. The x-axis is the communication rounds. The y-axis is the test accuracy. In the with model splitting setting, we compare our method to the state-of-art SGD based um, baselines. Um, the, v, the VIN ADMM is the uh, uh, red and the purple line with different number of local update steps. VADM can obtain a faster convergence and higher accuracy than existing SGD-based method. It, under a nonlinear server head, we show that this, uh, this new algorithm can also outperform other SGD-based baselines. 
in terms of communication efficiency, we compare the communication communication cost per round between WinADMM and other SGD-based methods. WinADMM requires a lower communication cost per round because of its ADMM-based communication strategy. Also, we report the communication cost to reach a targeted accuracy performance. For example, for MNIST, to achieve uh, accuracy over 96% accuracy, the VIN ADMM will require the lowest communication cost in megabytes to achieve the targeted accuracy performance. In the client-level DP, we will use our client-level DP mechanism for all the baselines and our method. We report the results in the with model splitting and without model splitting setting. We show that in the Epsilon infinity eight and one settings, ADMM based method can maintain a higher utility on the client level DP. We show the effectiveness of the number of local steps for the utility under DP. The results show that a larger number of local steps in ADMM can lead to a better utility under client level DP equals to one. In the label DP setting, we use existing label DP mechanisms and apply them to the other baseline method and our method. Under epsilon equals to infinity, uh, 2.8 and 1.4, we show that ADMM based method maintain a higher utility on the label DP mechanism. We think this is mainly because ADMM allows a multiple local updates for each communication round. So we report the results under different number of local steps. A larger number of local steps can also lead to a better utility on the label DP. Finally, we show that a byproduct of our multiple head structure is that the weight known of this linear head can reflect the importance of the local clients. Here we show the input features of the full data set. For example, in the MNIST, we divide the rows by or we divide the columns, we divide the clients by the rows of the image. Some clients will have their image with pure black pixels, while some clients can have the white pixel corresponding to the digits in the MNIST. Uh, for those clients to have the white digits, it will have a higher weight norm for their linear head, while the pure black pixel clients will have the lowest weight norm. It shows that the weight norm can reflect their importance. In the model net 40, it's a multi-view data set, so different clients will hold different views for the same object, and the weight norm of those clients are similar. In conclusion, we propose a VFL framework with multiple heads and an ADMM-based method to solve it for efficient communication. Theoretically, we provide the convergence guarantee and introduce client-level differential privacy mechanism and provide the privacy guarantee. Extensive experiments verify the performance of our, of our algorithm under vanilla, DP, uh, vanilla setting and DP settings and show that our method enables client-level explainability. Oh, thanks for your attention. <laughs>